Are you looking to have more success doing business in the Middle East and the Arab world? Check out this video where we share 10 tips to have more success in the Arab world. The Arab world is a huge market with lots of individuals who are interested in products and services from around the world. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the ways that you can be more successful doing business in the Arab world. The first tip we have is make sure to use some Arabic, whether that's in your personal communication or the communication on your website or in your marketing materials, using Arabic will go a long way towards helping you get more customers and clients. The second tip we have relates to time and appointments. In general, in the Middle East, things are gonna happen a little bit late. So kind of build some buffer into your schedule knowing that if you have an appointment at a certain time, it's probably gonna happen a little bit later. That's just part of doing business in this culture. Our third tip is to realize that the Arab world is actually a very diverse place and that not all Arabs are the same. So you have people from North Africa, people from the Levant, and people from the Gulf. And even within those specific countries, you're gonna find that there's cultural differences between them. Make sure to work with locals who understand the region to get a better understanding of how you should market and target different audiences that you're trying to do business with. Our fourth tip is to understand that the Arab world is very much a shame honor type of a culture. And you need to understand this and not just assume that this is something antiquated or something that you don't have to worry about. But if you look in specific cultures throughout the region, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of different things that focus on giving honor to leaders, giving honor to patriarchal figures within a family or within a specific group. And you can see examples of that in these pictures that I'm showing here. You have like in the UAE where they actually have, you know, their leaders, pictures of leaders on their specific buildings. Another way that we see this is that at events and conferences, typically they have to be under the authority of a specific minister. And oftentimes that minister will show up to the event and get toured around and meet the various leaders at that conference as part of this um, kind of shame and honor aspect of the culture. Tip number five is to realize that oftentimes contracts are going to be flexible in the Middle East, that even though you set expectations up front with a very exact wording in a contract, sometimes those things will be changed or renegotiated with the Arab party later on down the road. And just have that expectation going into things that there's typically this tendency to kind of renegotiate things on a regular basis. The next tip relates to what I said in the previous tip, and that is that negotiations are always happening in the Middle East, and it's part of the culture. So expect that there's always gonna be some back and forth with the price. Expect that oftentimes the first price that you put out there is not gonna be the price that you end up finally agreeing to. So have that expectation going into things. It's part of the culture in the Middle East and it's just something you have to get used to even if you don't like negotiating. Tip number seven is make sure to focus on the decision maker. So oftentimes you're gonna find that there's a lot of kind of low to medium level people in a specific organization that don't have any power to make a decision. So do whatever you can to get as high as possible in that organization to get to the person who's actually going to make the decision, whether that's the owner or someone at level that has the power to make the decision, because oftentimes you can waste a lot of time on people that really don't have the power and authority in a organization to make the decision. Oftentimes this is going to be a very kind of patriarchal hierarchy and you need to go to the person that has the most power in the organization to try to get what you want done. Tip number eight relates to what's called wasta, or the social leverage that you have in the Middle East society. Typically, if you need to get things done, it's about the relationships that you have with different people. And if you know the right person who's a friend of a friend or a relative of someone, oftentimes those relationships are gonna be more powerful to you than going through all the correct channels to get something done. So realize that in some cases, you need to ask around and say, 
who do I need to talk to to get this specific thing done? And then it's through that relationship that you actually end up getting certain things done within the society and moved along much faster. That's just the way it works in a lot of these Middle Eastern societies. It's not always the case, but oftentimes having those relationships will speed things along much faster. Tip number nine is similar to the previous point and that relationships are more important than performance. It's important to understand that in the Middle East, having a great relationship with your clients and customers is even more important than getting the results. So it is important to get results, but at the same time, oftentimes a contract will continue to work even sometimes when results aren't there if you have a good relationship with the customer. So definitely get good results, but understand that the relationship is actually the most important thing. Tip number 10 is to make sure that you localize either your marketing or your products specifically to the Arab world. Do whatever you can to adapt your offering to this region of the world and you're gonna find that you're gonna have many more sales and make a lot more revenue from the region. Well, that concludes our list. We hope this makes you more successful with doing business in the Middle East. If you need help with your Arabic marketing, please reach out to us and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.